Hi everyone, welcome to a reading for Leo. Wow, okay, any more? Thank you, any more? Thank you. Wow, okay, let's flesh this out. What have we got? Wow, it's time to call judgment and all the rubbish that might be going on in your life. Hey, you've had enough of the conflict and all through conflict, you've learned a lot and you're resurrecting yourself. It may have seemed like harmless fun at the time. That's for sure. And or you've been in a real feisty mood and, and willing to spar with people or wanting to go out and be physically playing with people as in, you know, doing physical play. you realise that it's really important to work with people, not so much challenge people or have people challenge you. It would end up having a, a much better impact on your life. Maybe every time you've had to deal with people, it's been quite challenging and you really just desperately want your whole world to change around it. You're trying very hard to show the world exactly what you're capable of doing. And I think people are starting to take notice of that. And that has moved you away from a lot of the, comp the you know, the drama is probably the better way of describing it. Just great. Let's see. Let's see this. Okay. You're starting to get your happiness back, and I think it's come from an incredibly long time of introspection. People may have thought that you were never really going to come out of your hermitage. These last few years, a lot of people have been in a quite long hermitage. But I think you've really come up with something that will really make you happy and get your mojo back. But you're realising it's up to you to keep your eye on that prize. You've had to come across a lot of rules and regulations. As I said, this could literally be the hermitage from how the world's been. So many rules, so many regulations, so many hoops to jump through. It's really kept you up at night. You know, crossing this box and filling out that form and all that sort of rubbish that happens. Taxes, all that sort of man-made stuff that comes at you sort of can diminish your idea of a dream a little bit. But you've still very much got your idea on you're just going to keep on going very much, persevering as you do. All right. Let's see. Thank you. Yeah, falling over the two cards of conflict and anxiety it has literally had you feeling like you haven't been able to show the world your really true happy leo side you know maybe time you've literally had to do a lot of time of rest keep away from alcohol that sort of thing you sort of been caring for yourself a bit more but if you do have to engage with any sort of conflict or anything, it, it does sort of knock you off kilter. So you've had enough. You've realised you've really had enough of that and how it affects you in your life. You're definitely a bit of a wounded warrior at this stage, yes, but, geez, you've learned a lot. And so you're taking all this knowledge and you're going on a brand new start here. Stepping into the sun again, getting, feeling like you again, not letting all this drama and things of the past here really make you lose your fire because it's very easy to lose, you know, inspiration in this world, but you're getting back up again and you're just going to give it another, you're just going to go for it again. It's inspirational. All right absolutely inspirational you've lightened your load and if not you're in the process of lightening your load there's only so much you can take with you you're realizing you're taking the knowledge 
moving into a brand new world here. I think because you've started moving again, that's what's got your mojo back. You've actually had to cut out so much stuff. And or you've been, you know, quite defensive dealing with someone here that's been quite cold and cutting and you're deciding to, to take a great leap of faith off by yourself here. But you're cutting out all the not feeling yourself, sleepless nights, um, petty arguments, having feeling sore and sorry, you know. That's all been cut out of your life. It's fabulous. All right. That popped up upside. No, it came up the right way. I thought it flipped. Yeah. Because you know that you, you, by working on things, by working on yourself, and this has been a massive time of working on yourself, it's going to bring you happy back. It's going to bring stability back. And I think you're choosing your friends more wisely now as well. Yeah, because taking this great leap of faith and moving away from all the other stuff, you're finding that you're actually being able to start to manifest into your world. And what you're manifesting is actually good instead of the drama. It's fabulous, Leo. All right. Any more advice? Thank you. And it sort of came out a bit that way. So, yeah, that's where things can actually fall down is when we start to... I see this card is really focusing on the downside of our money. Money flows in and out. With him coming about a bit like that, that's what can end up leaving you a bit defensive. I think you've actually realised that the instability here has not led to your um, financial stability. And that's what you're cutting out. You're wanting financial stability here. You don't want to feel sideways with your money and put you completely off kilter. That's what's being cut out here. Instability, yeah. Well, that came up and then flipped that way. Yeah, the instability ends up making you feel like you just don't have bounty and when you don't feel like you're abundant and you end up defensive and you end up, you know, it, everything goes sideways here. So you need to, what needs to happen is you need to focus on the upswing here, which is what you're doing. You're starting to look up now. Hey, and turn this around. Start to look up, you'll turn this around. And look how absolutely gorgeous and bountiful and... Yeah. Beautiful she looks. And how, you'll start to celebrate life again. And when you're back in your energy again, Leo, wow, do you love celebrating? Hey, just be careful of excess. But no, you'll start to see things of absolute, you know, friendships that are true again. You'll start to see, you'll start to wear clothing that suits you and is comfortable. You'll start to have, maybe even you're focusing on gardens here, making your own garden and sell, you know, sharing the produce around, making friends that way, a fabulous way to do it. You know, so yes, you, you, you're saying goodbye. You're saying goodbye to this. Saying goodbye to this. Then you're saying goodbye to how it makes you feel, which is overly happy, sideways, on your back, feelings, you know. You're about saying goodbye to it. It's a new world here. It's resurrection time. Leo's rising again from the ashes, Phoenix style. You're bringing in abundance and happiness and stability. That's fantastic. Hey. Okay? Take the great leap of faith away from the drama. It's going to be so worth it. It's beautiful. I really hope that helped. I love you all and bye for now.